Hello, everybody. Hello there. Nice to see you. And welcome to the stream today. Hello, Hermit. Nice to see you. Um, so, yeah, um, it's Sunday, which means I'm ready to do some drawing practice. Um, so, um, you'll notice I'm wearing a blanket because the winter temperatures are finally coming. It's below freezing at night here now, so. And because of the whole energy crisis thing that's going on, we really don't want to use any more electricity than we need to, so keep the radio radius off. So I've got a blanket on, as you can see. I'm actually wearing a blanket that my uh, mom knitted for me. Um, yeah, uh, she, uh, she knitted it and it's, uh, it's very comfy. It's very nice of her. She was going on about how it would be something to remember her by. And I'm just thinking, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be around for many, many years yet. I don't think you'll be going anywhere soon, but I don't like hearing them like planning for that. You know, it could be kind of depressing. So anyway, we are going to be doing some drawing today. Anyone who has a, uh, anyone who has uh, been following me on my uh, drawing journey, there's still lots to iron out. There's still lots to improve. I still haven't done a full body yet, but I'm still debating on what sort of art style I want to have. I actually tried Clannad the other day. And while that was okay, I can't help but feel that, you know, maybe I want to try and be a bit more original, you know? And I'm going to... So I've decided I'm going to do some more fan art. Maybe experimenting with a new art style again. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of this uh, MMO. It closed down like six years ago. Um, but it was a game I was playing back in like 2008, 2007, I think. It's amazing to think it's that long ago. Um, it was a, uh, a, a, it's a golf MMO, if you can believe that. Yeah, a golfing MMO. But you know, big into anime, especially at that period of my life. I still am, to be fair. Um, and yeah, it was fun. Um, you start with a generic character, but fortunately you could buy all of the other characters with the actual, a, um, with act, with the actual in-game currency. It was all the other outfits and stuff you'd have to pay money for potentially, or you could trade it with people. Some people could like buy stuff and then go into like a trading, uh, lobby and you could like trade stuff with them. So you could actually get those paid stuff for money. Maybe that's why it ended up closing in the end. Yeah, it's a golfing MMO. Um, it had a game on the, on the Wii, I believe. The golfing MMO I'm talking about is a game called Pangya. It was a Korean MMO with the anime aesthetic. And it was a very fun time. I'd spend hours and hours of my time just playing with random people. I did go back on it in like 2014 and it was pretty dead. So it makes sense that it, that it ended up shutting down soon after that. And it was a shame because all that time you invested, I didn't spend any money on it. If you were wondering, I didn't spend any money. Um, but I was fortunate that the character I wanted the most didn't actually cost as much as some of the other characters did. Um, it was a pirate girl. And she is called Ku. And she was adorable. So I was like, I'm all into my cute girls doing cute things sort of animes as well. So it, it definitely helped <laughs> cement it that I wanted her. Um, 
So yeah, I remember saving up all my pang, which is the currency, the the general currency, and like being being finally able to buy her was just amazing. I bought her a school swimsuit. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a, it sounds a bit lewd, doesn't it, when you when you put it like that? But she was just cute to me, man. Um. Oh, is someone getting impatient? <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll stop rambling, okay? Okay, I've made my point. But yeah, I managed to save up for her and, you know, and it was great. So first things first, I'm going to need a picture of her. I already have a picture of her. It's on my uh, computer. <laughs> okay, I, I sort of figured that's what you meant, but, you know, I've been rambling on for a bit now. Yeah, um, she had a blue one and a pink one. Although I think the pink one was just a regular one piece. And, you know, Kaon was out at the time. So, uh, yeah, Azunyan. I love her, her Neapolitan swimsuit sort of thing she had going on there. With the tan, her skin color, and the color of her swimsuit being like a classic Neapolitan. Oh, thank you, anyone. I'm glad you're here. Um, let's see here. Pictures. So, yeah, there's not actually a lot of uh, official artwork of her around anymore. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna load her in so you can have a look. And you'll probably see what I mean. She reminds me of Azusa so much, so... Naturally, you know, I was very big on that. Oh, you shouldn't have, uh, you shouldn't have done that on my part. No, you keep playing with your friend, man. You're gonna have a lot of, uh, you're gonna have a big, a few big jobs ahead of you with your, uh, raffle concluding today. I don't know if you've closed it or not. But, you know. Just search for any fan arts on Twitter. You'll find his you'll find his page, and you can join his contest if it's still open. I don't know if it is. If you if you wouldn't mind confirming that for me, anyone at some point when you've got time. So uh, yeah, I need to load her in. Uh, there you go. This is Ku. She's a pirate. And she's small and cute with twin tails. Can you see what I mean by how how much like Azusa she looks like? I know, right? I do love her design. It's so pretty and cute. I think they, they also had maid outfits. I think I also had the maid outfit for her as well. <laughs> I'm glad you like her. But yeah, pretty much the only uh, remnants of that game now is the Wii game. I feel like I should get it just for prosperity's sake, even though I don't have a Wii or Wii U set up anymore. Maybe one day I would. Plus, I wouldn't have to pay for her either. I could, like, unlock her or however you do it on that game. So anyway, let us, uh... Let us stop pussyfooting around 15 minutes in. Let's, let's actually start doing some drawing, shall we? I'm aiming even more. I'm going for even thinner lines, by the way, for my line art. I don't want the lines to be too chunky, if you know what I mean. So, first things first. I've also decided to do this. I'm gonna just, like, focus on, like, the head. I feel like... If I if I tr if I if I do this with a body in mind, then I'm just gonna make the head too small for me to draw on, and I feel a bigger a bigger canvas, a bigger like frame would be ideal for this. You know what I mean? So here we go.
So that's our frame to work with. Uh, you know, this is just rough, of course. I'll refine it when I get to the next layer, and then the line art after that, so... It may not look the best right now, but it'll get there. This is literally my method, so you're just gonna have to bear with me on this. I know there are some artists who can literally draw how they want without having to go through all this. But then I'm sure the main reason that a lot of people like watching me doing this is probably because, you know, I'm starting out and I'm gonna be getting better. So let's have a quick go look back at Ku here. I should probably zoom in on her. Yeah, her eyes have a little bit of a sharpness to them, like, like a uh, furrowed brow, like arch. I'm gonna have to try and see how well I can do this. The pencil is a bit big. It's like 20. It might be a bit too big. Uh, let's get it. No, that's no, a bit too small. About six. I think six will be good. So. Yeah, pretty much this whole area here is going to be for the hair. Because anime hair can take up a lot of a head space. So let's have a look-see. So a bit like this. That looks okay. I should probably, you know, do this as well. You know, it'll help. It'll help me a bit further down the line. So where the bottom of the eye will go and stuff. Like so. Doing the left one is fine. But when it comes to doing the right eye, that's when it's like, how am I meant to make this symmetrical? That's literally the difficult part. Especially when you're trying. <laughs> that looks awful. You see what I mean? It looks awful. It doesn't look symmetrical at all. Maybe if I actually did a circle and like duplicated that and then I could like position it better, that would probably be better, wouldn't it really? I'm going to quickly do this so we can like get a feel for how the eye is. And then I can duplicate that at the other side. Although I can't really, can I? Because I don't I I don't have it on a separate layer. Hold on. Let's do these eyes on separate layers. That way we get a bit more of an idea of how we go about this. And then if it's too far away from where I want it, I can just like put it up there and there we go yeah I'm quite envious of people who can literally just draw without having to do too many like sketches and then you know getting a final feel for it those people are the real talents <laughs> like he won't let me saying it but like anyone he is a, you know his art is gorgeous Okay, so we got our eyes. Now let us now let us see if that makes this any easier for me. Now it goes in a little bit there, doesn't it? Like that. And then we can do this, and a bit of that, and there we go. That doesn't look too bad, actually. And then, of course, we'd have the little bottom bit. For me, I sort of want to make it like... I don't want it to be too... Uh... How do I describe this? I don't want to make it look too bad. I do like the mouth to be closer to the eyes. 
just a little bit closer. But like I said, this is a rough sketch of the of the face, so we don't have to make it look the best. We can always fix that in post. Like that. Naturally, I can make this look better later. But I keep saying that. <laughs> it's just with the art stream, it's a bit quiet. I should get that music on I keep having on previous streams. I, I should have thought of doing that as soon as I sorted this out. Let's see here. Uh... If we're going to history, it should be near. It should be nearish the top. There it is. There we go. Now that's much better, don't you think? Even if you're not watching me drawing, you, you at least get some nice music to listen to. Although I do feel like the mouth is a bit too high. Or maybe it's still too high. I mean, it's 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 cute when it's on a chibi, but when it's like that, there we go. Whew. Yeah, getting these eyes right is gonna take some time. Now back to Q again. She's got, like, the messy sort of hair, doesn't she? Framed with, like, little tufts either side. A bit like this. But can I actually make it look Good. Probably not, you know. It'll take time, but I'll get there. You'll see. I'll get there. It's a bit of a messy fringe as well. It's got, like, some of it even going the other way. like that. But yeah, maybe the head is a little, maybe the mouth area is a little too round. I think it may be a little too round. So, you know, I could, like I said, I can fix that on the next layer. Should probably merge these layers now that I'm using them all. I mean, as you know. It'll look better. It'll look better. We'll go into more detail on this next layer and then go for the liner afterwards. So let's opacitate it down a, a few notches. And go for something that stands out a little bit more. And we won't have the head shape or anything. We'll literally... So I think now we can start with the hair. I 
imagine that would go there, and then I can start doing this part. I'm sure some of it as well might even interlink. So like a little bit out from there, for example. I've made it a bit thick on that side. Maybe not the perfect way of doing it, but we can get there. We can get there. There's no problems. There we go. We can fix that. See? No problem. No problem. Like that, there you go. Face is looking a little more natural now, isn't it? Of course, we also have to get this part right. Gotta try and nail this again. I think that's okay. Then that light there, and then. A little bit wider on the outside. That's something I'm keeping from the Clannad style, I think. Okay, that eye seems to be a little smaller. But that's fine. Like I said, we can deal with this. It is just the sketch. Just the sketch. Just have to remind you guys, it's just the sketch. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I put it on the same layer! How far back will it let me go? <laughs> I don't know if it'll let me go back far enough. I thought that was gonna happen. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, guess I'm gonna have to do another layer and then do it on there instead. Can we replicate this? Just the same, I didn't recognize that mistake sooner. Yeah, it's not a difficult thing to do, but it's still frustrating when it happens. But luckily, it's just the sketch. So we don't have to worry too much about that. So we can work this out. Again, I go a little bit wide here. But then it's easier to do.
shouldn't wo bo bother you too much, but it does. You can't help yourself. <laughs> you, you want to aim for 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 pet for for for. You want to aim for 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 pet. Oh my God, I can't speak. You got. You want to aim for perfection, even when you don't have to aim for it right away. It's very frustrating. Go. Okay, let's try this again then. I don't know why, but I've not felt great ever since I had that stomach bug. It's really bummed me out. No matter what I do, I can't shake the feeling of nausea. And I'm sure you're thinking, oh, well, maybe that means it hasn't gone away yet. But, you know, I'm not throwing up. It's not crippling me. And I was able to go to work on Friday without any issues. It's just, I can't shake it. Also, I don't think I did that right, did I? This way wasn't supposed to be much. Oh, hello, a new a new a newcomer. Thank you. Hello, Cloth. That is your name, right, Cloth? Cloth, Cloth, Cloth. Um, I'm literally trying to draw a character from an MMO that I used to play a lot when I was younger. Her name is Ku from Pangya. That's who I'm trying to draw. It's always good to look back at your reference. <laughs> it makes things easier. But like I'm saying, I'm on the second sketch now, so there's still gonna be. This isn't the. Uh, this isn't the final. This is going. This is just like what I've got right now. Yeah, it's probably not going to look too much like her, but I'm still learning. <sighs> and I'm still trying to perfect my, uh, my style. I'm still trying to... Trying to make a style that can be uniquely mine, you know? Alright, that, that other one's a bit round for my liking. No, no, don't delete the layer. I already did so much. Right, okay. I mean, I'm sure I'll eventually get to a style that I like, and I think I can replicate fairly frequently. Hopefully one day I'll become a good artist. But until that moment gets there, I just gotta keep trying new things and seeing what I can do that actually sticks. I quite like that from the Clannad art style, actually. But as you know, until it gets coloured in, you're not actually going to see how good it actually is. Oh yeah, I should probably have made that one go up a bit as well. <laughs> All these little things, you'll get there eventually. So long as you keep plugging away, you keep practicing, you'll get there. I think you can see her ears. Yeah, you can. You can see her ears. 
but they're not gonna be that high up. They gotta be around here, around the eyes, don't they? Although from the angle we're drawing her at, we're not gonna see the ear on the other side, I don't think so. We can just have that one ear there and maybe a little bit of, you know, <laughs> it doesn't look good, but I can correct that in post, that's fine. Just getting it how you want. Or actually even getting it anywhere near how you think it, you want it. A little bit there and a little bit there. Yeah, there's gonna be... <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> looking pretty mannish, I think. I don't know why, I don't know why. It, it's not just me, is it? But, you know, I still just have to keep getting there and keep learning, keep practicing. And having some nice, calm music also helps. <sighs> Should probably make my canvas bigger. You know, a little bit wider. Because then I can actually draw something better. You know, as soon as you hit the edge of the paper, that's when you start to think, oh my god, I can't do this. Yeah, I think her ear would stand out a little bit more, a little bit further back. If I do that, that looks better. That looks better. Now, one thing about art styles is the length, the width of the neck. Because all art styles are different after all, so you know. You wonder how thick the neck should be. However thick it, you think it should be, you'll probably get there eventually. I actually forgot to uh, get my drink. So if you'll excuse me for like five, uh, a second, I'll go get it. <laughs> I was going to say five minutes. I'm not going to need five minutes. Don't worry. I'm not going to need that much. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Oh no. I'm hiding. <laughs> I'm hiding from you guys. Oh no. Let's stick up a little bit. I feel like the tracking's a bit weird. Pop. There you go. That looks better. <laughs> I can see myself again. Well, thanks for the patience, everybody. Just put the music back on. Sorry. Almost forgot. I mean, let's see. That's not looking too bad. I mean, I still have to do the twin tails. That would help you distinguish a bit more who it is. Or maybe it's just the style of art I'm choosing. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Let's get rid of that layer and it looks, there you go, that's not too bad. That however, I don't like. That sticks out a bit too much. Uh, 
Ideally, it'd be like that. There you go, that's better. Yeah, what I ideally want to do right now is to uh, do the twin tails, which means, you know, I'm going to have to stretch the canvas even more. Pull that out and that out and there. Now I can make the twin tails. Now they're kind of messy. There's like two bits coming off the main twin tail here. They are quite long. I did notice that when I was playing the game. Her twin tails go right down to her ankles. Those are long twin tails, I'll have you know. <laughs> So then we'd probably have something akin to this. So she has like big one going off. Um, I literally just go with it as I go, to be honest with you. I couldn't tell you exactly what the resolution is. Well, that's not good for a start. <laughs> I should probably do it a bit more like this. See, and then finally you got the actual big one that moves away from the rest of it. Now, because it's a bit sideways on, you probably wouldn't see much of this other side. You'd probably see just a little bit on the top. I mean, like I was saying, I'm still a very new artist. But I do want to try and share the progress I make as much as I can on stream. I've only done one drawing off stream. Uh, G-Force, you can go away, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically... I guess technically I should have just done the, the, the base of it and then done these little bits afterwards. Yeah, that probably would have been better, actually. No matter how big they are, they're actually gonna... I do have 32 gigabytes of RAM. I'm not one of these with 8 or 16. I have a decent amount of RAM, so it should be fine. I do think it'll be fine. But that is a good thing to know. That is a good tidbit. See, I'd go like that and then, then it would like break off a bit. Like that. And I think they can like disguise it a bit by doing it like this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to actually make my, uh, I don't think it's actually going to be like that for the final piece. Okay, now if I do add a little bit. A bit like that, 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 that looks, that looks fine to me. I probably could have made it a little bit chunkier if I wanted to. 
probably could have stuck out a little bit more, but you can only get so much. A little bit of erasure at the base here and here just so you know it's breaking off but it's actually still you know it's not like a separate piece of hair you know it's always best to be sure so are you an artist yourself Klauf? I mean I'm more than willing to have someone share their works with us if they want to Excuse me. <laughs> it's not too bad. I'm um, I think I think we can move on. So yeah, you can bear the head to how it is now. There you go. It looks a little bit more. It looks a little more proper, doesn't it? Right, now let's see. Um Her hair doesn't go completely off kilter. I should have made this bigger. I mean, that's fair enough, but that doesn't mean a sketch can't look nice. I mean, that's literally all I'm doing right now. I do try and I have tried to do finish pieces, but it's kind of tricky. Being an artist yourself, you know what I'm talking about with that. But there you go. I think you got the uh, got that there. I think we can move on now. We can <laughs> we can actually aim for actual line art. It's actual line art that terrifies me the most. Because you have so many, you see so many artists and they can they they can do perfect line art almost. It feels like they can, they can do no wrong with their line art. Again, forget the layer change. Thank you. Yeah, um, it doesn't look, the, the twin tails certainly don't look great, but. I feel like they're able to just do it like this, you know, just get it perfect the first time they draw it. And that can really, that really makes me feel inadequate. It would be nice if 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 it was just if I could actually just do it right the first time. It would just be so nice, don't you think? I feel like I want one crossing over because I'm pretty sure that's how some of her hair looks. Yeah, it probably doesn't do your confidence any good to compare yourself to other artists, especially the ones who are actually good. There you go, there's an example right there. Just do it and do one really nice line and then you just go and do something like that. Yeah, yeah, you're always, yeah, you shouldn't compare yourself to an artist who's done this sort of thing. 
for like the longest time. It really is just a, it, it's really just gonna ruin your own confidence. I mean, that line art isn't terrible. Yeah, you can tell there's a bit of jank there, but you can only do what you can do at the end of the day. And I'm sure I'll eventually get there. So it's nice to see how you do comparatively to what you've just done. <laughs> yeah, these top eyebrows are probably a bit too thick, so... Something along those lines is probably going to be better. Filling these lines in is going to be tricky. It's where you're going to have to start making up. I think I'll do the eyes last. I think I need to make like a thick pen for that. I'm going to need a thicker pen for the eyes just to make it easier. too bad. I, I think I've done a lot worse. Yeah, that's not too bad. For me, it's more about It's all about, you know, when your lines are thick, it makes it look kind of amateurish. But that's just my interpretation. I don't know what you guys think, but. It'd just be nice if you could just literally do this and it'd be just perfect the first time. I'm actually looking at it, yeah, these these are actual tassels, aren't they? She's actually tied her hair, so... We can actually just do it like that, actually. No way to make it look like a scrunchie or anything. Which is going to make that part a lot easier. So, here we go, the hair. Wish me luck. Doing that in a single line. Hey, hey, hey! This ain't going too badly, but it's more about getting this line art ideally. Yeah, the stabilizer blush is always good. I 
I do find that people who draw outlines, though, that are just perfectly smooth. I think you have to appreciate that sort of skill as well. Yeah, comic styles are specifically, you know, pretty good. For me, it's all going to be about how far the nose and mouth should be from the eyes. But I can go back up in a few brush sizes now for this next part. Eyes are normally my strong suit, but the stabilization. I mean, I've got it on like 70 stabilization, which some people think is a bit much, but I think for me, where I am at, that's probably about as good as I can do it. Probably when coloring in stabilization is not helpful. But, you know, when it comes to line art, it can be a pretty invaluable tool. My artist friend says that their stabilization is only like 15. And I mean, kudos to you, my dude, for being able to do it like that. But for me, it's not quite the same. I don't think. I think I need a lot of stabilization. <laughs> hmm. We should go back to two now that we're doing the frames. Ah. ah. After having all that freedom, it's kind of difficult to go back. <laughs> Just getting that nice, neat curve. That's a bit too... Looking back at that, that's, a, that's not quite enough flexibility. I need to go back. That's better. And now maybe... No, I got a bit too straight at the end. There we go. Yeah, I see what you mean now, Cloud, by going straight back to the different brushes. It certainly made things a lot easier. I've made that small now. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Let's go back to two. Now, 
I did it the way I did, but I feel like I could probably do it with it being like a little more like that, a little more consistent. Just one nice arch like that. Of course, getting everything else right isn't easy. I think maybe a little dot there as well. And then these bits here. I was gonna say that's that circle isn't necessarily in the middle it looks a little bit too like she's a bit going a bit cross-eyed i think because of the way uh, the direction of her head is that's probably partially why Of course, now connecting that up. Gonna take a little bit of fine tuning here. All right, now I've got to decide what the best position for the mouth is gonna be. That's pretty much where I want it. That's pretty spot on to me. Ugh. Now, I think I'm gonna... You're not gonna see much of it, of course, but I think I'm gonna go with the, uh... The school swimsuit version. I think with this. <laughs> not that you get to see much of it. But that is probably the Ku outfit I wore the most. So I feel like as a homage to that, I feel like that's probably going to be the best. That's probably going to be my best bet here. Although I should probably... Do it like this. Just getting those lines to connect, that's what takes talent, I feel. Like I said, you're not actually gonna see the swimsuit because of how little I'm drawing of her. I think that's what I'll go for. And for those of you who are still here, I'd like to thank you very much for sticking around. I've had some pretty uh, bad average views on my uh, streams lately. Actually having free viewers for most of the stream has actually been really nice change of pace. So a, a huge shout out to you guys. I really appreciate it. Now. How about some eyebrows? For me, it's all about how to shape the, uh, these things. How you actually show emotion, because that's literally 
those little lines, they, they mean a lot in the whole general scheme of the emotion. Ooh. How's that? That's, uh... I'm quite proud of this one, actually. Now, how do I want to go about, like, showing the light on the hair? It's not too bad, actually. I think I can deal with that. That looks pretty okay. <laughs> Man, getting these twin tails to look right, it's gonna take some effort. They're probably the only thing I'm not happy with. Everything else, I'm fine. I can deal with this, but... It's just those, those little things, you know. I'm looking back at the model again. Yeah, I mean, look at those. That one looks as though it, like, breaks off, but it starts at the base and then breaks away. I'm gonna at least redo the one that will do the least, uh... Takes the least amount of effort. I mean, this is a game where you can customize what your character wears, so... No, they don't actually have... They don't... It's her default outfit, the, uh... What you're seeing there, I believe. But yeah, that's her default pirate outfit. So if I do it like this initially... And basically draw over it like so... Then I guess it looks a little better, because it actually looks like the hair is crossing over. I mean, it doesn't look perfect, but it looks a lot better than what I've already got here. Yeah, that probably is probably how best to do the hair. So let's go back to this. Because now I think I can actually make it look half decent now. Yeah, I'm working solely portrait wise until I can actually like get to a point where I'm happy to actually draw the, the upper body and portrait so I can actually start moving up to something a little more, you know, a little more complete if you get my meaning. Anyway, let's, uh... So yeah, we'll start by completely redoing the hair. Not re- No, I don't mean the whole hair, though. Don't worry. That's not what I mean. So do that, and then... Draw like that.
pretty much, pretty much, just gotta, just gotta perfect, perfect something before, you know, moving on to, like, something more challenging. There you go, I think that looks a hell of a lot better. It actually looks like it's more natural. You know, you would have overlap. That's what you gotta remember, you would have overlap. So now we can delete this part. There we go. Oh man, that didn't even take as long as my last one did. Last time I did it, did art, I, it took like two hours, but this one didn't take that long at all. So, what do you guys think? I could probably, you know, when it comes to actually doing a full body, I think I can make, you know, I, I, it, you know, I might try drawing her again with a full body. But I'm quite satisfied with what I've just drawn here. I said that fan art I did, uh, that OC I drew the other day was pretty good, but no, nah, man, this looks this looks even better than that. I can't help but feel like you know there is improvement happening. <laughs> Thanks, Hermit. I'm glad you like it. I think people would be quite... I think I'm quite satisfied with that. I mean, I do plan to draw myself one day. When I've actually gotten a style I like down, and then, you know, I can actually start, like, making stuff. I mean... Yeah, I can I can see that. I, I, I see your point. I definitely am someone who'd like to go for the more you know you know, there's a there's the odd little imperfection to iron out, but I'm quite happy. And to be fair, I think that was probably just about as long as I wanted it to be, because... Like, I've, like I said at the start of the stream, I still don't feel like I'm completely over the stomach bug I had uh, last week. So, it would just be nice to just have a quick chill now that I've uh, finished. Or do I actually want to g actually... Do I want to go a little bit further? Draw a bit further down. <laughs> I might be undoing all my good work at this point, but I feel like I want to do a bit more. I mean, the, 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 at the same time, I don't actually have it. I don't actually have it down pat yet, do I? See, so yeah, I'd, I'd want that one and I'd want to like... Try drawing a bit further down. Her name is Ku, and she's from an old MMO known as Pangya. So just look for Ku Pangya, K O O H, and you'll 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 see her. All right, we can go back to pencil.
it's just a shame that she's uh, lost to time now, unless you count the Wii game, which, you know, still happens to exist. Whoops, <laughs> wrong layer, wrong layer again, whoopsie. Ugh. Oh boy, how wide would the shoulders be though? For this head type, I feel like the shoulder would probably be a little bit more like, like that. Getting that line, getting the arc, getting the collar. I get so far and then I feel like my hand sort of like gets stuck. And then I can't get it down. <laughs> oh man, that doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> Yeah, just get in the get in the neck right, cause actually getting that whole bottom part right, actually, because now that I've actually got a bit more of a guide to go off, I feel like I could make that look better. It would probably because that side's further away. You'd really want to try and get this down pat. Give her a bit of sass, you know what I mean? A little bit of sass. Getting a nice clean line is probably a bit too much to ask at this point. to start from here and work our way down. Yeah, the pose I was looking at there was a bit like, you know, a sideways, like, you know, lean to the left, sort of like, arms by your, you know, hands, arms, hands on your hips sort of thing. That's what I was looking at with that one. have that back down again and we can work from here. Bit like that. So it would probably go a bit like this, and go a bit wide like that. Yeah, a bit like that. Where's the magnifying glass? We should probably zoom in like was suggested. Is there a magnifying glass? I don't think there is. A 
I mean, that doesn't look pretty. That looks pretty good. Brush is going to need to be a little bit smaller to get right in there. Yeah, zooming in really does make a bit of a difference, doesn't it? Can really help you clean up those lines. There you go, that's a good tip. I think that's probably roughly how a school swimsuit looks. At least I like to think that's how it roughly looks, right? I think maybe the arc's a bit too... sticks out a bit too much, actually. Could probably be a bit wider. Being the closer pat, uh, part of it. Go back to 200. Huh. I felt like it wasn't too bad, but now I feel like Maybe the shoulder's a bit... Maybe I'm going a bit too... extreme one way or the other. Maybe. Would you think that? Would you say that? Probably what I'd say anyway. I felt like maybe my I wasn't getting the uh, proportions right when it came to uh, the arms. Just getting the uh, because it's a bit closer. The uh, the arm wouldn't necessarily be standing out so much, would it? Although I feel like it looks wrong now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've gotten all the proportions messed up now that I've done you're not wrong. <laughs> Let's see how far back it'll let me go. About there. They do. I mean, there you go. I, I think that looks fine, actually, don't you? I think that's probably...
yeah, there's always there's always that battle with your perspective. But then, like you say, it should be bigger, so this this half of the swim shoot should look a little bit bigger, at least. Oh, uh, hey, anyone. To be honest, I think I'm pretty much am finished. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the perspective right on this final bit here. It would be nice if I could actually, you know, eventually do a half body. But I think as of right now, this is probably as much as I'm going to go until I find a style I'm comfortable with. Although I suppose colouring it is an option, but... Our time together is almost up, I'm afraid. I don't have to be up in the morning, but I really, really need to, like... Not go to bed to bed too late, if you know what I mean. Basically, you'd also have like that there, and a little shade for the nose. Although that's uh, a bit too dark. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's gonna be it then. I think that's that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, the the I guess the ponytails, the pigtails, could do with a little bit of cleaning up first. So I think I'll clean that up first. Shame there ain't no magnifying glass that I can see anyway. Then I could actually get it lined up perfectly. I guess I just need to do stuff like that. And there you go. That that'll that'll work. <laughs> Although they aren't flowing, they are a little bit. These are not flowing very well. That's the problem if you don't get it right first time with line art like this. It's gonna look funky. But then how does it look? Um, hmm. Yeah, this uh, this could. Uh, It doesn't flow. <laughs> it really doesn't flow, does it? I just really want... You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Okay, now my hand's starting to cramp. Probably a good time. And there you go. That's my uh, that's my uh, fan art of coup. 
sketch for a line arted, not colored. So I'm just gonna save that real quick. Uh, where is it? Okay. Let's take the tablet off and put the keyboard back up. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, going a bit high there. Sorry about that. Q fan art. Okay, so that's it for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll be sure to see you guys tomorrow, nights and early, because I'm doing an early stream of Pokemon Scarlet. 10 a.m. Hence why I also didn't want to spend too much longer on this stream, if you were wondering. So, I'll see you then. Bye!